Welcome back. Let's hop right back to it. So in the previous episode, we did all of this. You should go check that out. Today, we're going to focus on eyes. So for Haunted Chocolatier, we've seen a couple of characters in the trailer. And there's this style that I really like that Concerned Ape does, where he makes the eyes almost look like they're anime eyes. You guys know what I'm talking about. And here, Maddie, Maddie's a good example. We're going to do something like this. I'm one of the developers working on Dwerve. Please wishlist it on Steam. There's a link in the description. Okay, so first I'm going to put down the white for the eye. Make sure you're on the right layer. And here, basically, we're just going to try to get a good size. I'm going to, I'm going to draw this rectangle, and then we're going to try to move it kind of in, in the right location. So from here, I'm going to shape it a little bit. Um, <laughs> actually, you don't need it. You don't need to shape it. Let's put in that pupil. So with a lot of pixel art portraits, I often see the eyes being too small and the pupils being too small, um, which is why I like Concerned Apes eyes. They're a lot bigger. So the pupil should be round. Um, you know, Disney would uh, style is to make the pupils really tall and like some anime too. I actually don't like the anime that make the like the really tall eyes other than like Dragon Ball, right? But <clears throat> I like the anime. I just don't like the style of making the eyes super tall. But um, at the top here, you want to put the, the eyebrow. And you can decide how high up that is. So for example, there I lowered it, but you don't want the, I said eyebrow, I totally meant eyelash, but I don't think you really want the eyelash to be like this thick, for example, unless it, you're really trying to emphasize that the person has like makeup on or something like that. For, for this um, eyelash though, we want it to have a bend like this, something, something, a bend kind of like this. You don't want it to be, you know, too tall. And this almost doesn't look long enough, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna extend it. Gotta be careful with extending it though, because also we don't want it to be too long. So I think something like this looks good. However, um, the eye looks too square right now. The pixel art program I'm using is called A Sprite. It's pretty cool because it's just all about pixel art. Please use the link in the description to purchase a Sprite if you do, because I'm not sponsored by these guys and <laughs> I get a tiny little kickback if you buy it through Humble using the link in the description. So <clears throat> to make things round, oftentimes you kind of almost don't get to choose the size. So for, so here to, to make give this a round edge, what we actually have to do is add more, we have to add more white, add more white to the eye. And then we might as well make the pupil bigger. The eye looks kind of huge now. So we're gonna try to shrink that in just a little bit. I think we can remove a pixel here. So I think I think pupils look kind of weird if they don't have a glare. So we're gonna need to put a glare here. And I think either here, here a, a gl the glare looks odd because it almost looks like there's a white pupil. And you can make characters that look like they have white pupils, but I think it's better to put a glare in the top corner. So somewhere like here or here. I, I think up there is the best spot to put a glare. And then since there's so much um, black here with the eyelash and the pupil, I kind of want to differentiate between these two. So a good way to do that, and the way Concerned Ape often does that, is he'll give the pupil a, uh, a color. So for example, let's go blue here. I'm going to change the opacity to like 50% and then go over the pupil. I'm gonna keep the center black and just put blue around the edge. And basically what that does is it, um, does that look fine? I think so. I think the glare part doesn't need to be white either. It can be um, very, very light blue because um, even though it's reflective, you can still make it, make it look like it's part of the eye. So you've probably noticed that the eye looks kind of <laughs> huge. I'm trying to do it in the style that Concerned Ape does the eyes, but I made the head smaller. And I didn't know that I was making the head too small before I drew this eye. We could shrink the eye size by removing some of these pixels, you know, maybe something like this. And I'm kind of cool with that too. Oh, my face was kind of low. <clears throat> I'm cool with doing that too, but for the sake of making it look more like Concerned Ape art, I think I should make the size of the head bigger. So, um, Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll get back to that later, but we made the head bigger now, so we can move the, the um, eye a little bit further away from the, from the nose there, and it'll look like it fits on this face a little bit better. So um, something Concerned Ape does that makes a lot of his pixel art look good is he has a lot of gradients, right? So for example, to smooth this, 
um, eye, what we can do is we can add a pixel here, 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 and here. And it kind of makes the eye look a little bit rounder. And I love this kind of technique. Concern Ape also adds some shading above the eye. And I haven't really see seen this done too much, but I really like this look. A quick way we can make the eye look a little bit smaller since it does look kind of big is just to remove this one pixel right there. When you're putting the eyebrows above the eye, you don't want to put them too high up because then the person looks shocked, right? I think about two pixels is it's pretty good, but even this, it almost looks too tall. But the, the problem is that two, two pixels above the eye looks too tall and then one pixel looks almost too short. I think the one pixel though looks better. So with eyebrows, the ends will go down. I think th this is fine. However, I think I'm going to keep going with the pink color. So maybe we're going to make the eyebrows pink or at least I'll tint them a tiny bit so they don't look like they're pure, pure black. A tip that I've gotten um, with drawing is don't use pure black everywhere. Try to only use it as minimal as possible so for example the pupil should definitely be pure black but maybe even this eyelash could could not be pure black and it makes things look more natural and if we look at the preview i do think that that made the eyebrow and the eyelash look more natural so i want the eyebrow to look a little bit bigger but i don't want to just like make it bigger by extending it however i can sort of extend the shape of the eye by just adding more shading here. And then this part can sort of fade. And I think I'm gonna add that at the very end here. And we can even, maybe something even lighter. We can even use something even lighter here to sort of like smooth this shape. All right, I'm not gonna mess with that too much. I think that eye looks pretty fine. I'm just gonna copy this whole eye, Control C, Control V, and move it over. Now obviously the eyes look a little bit weird, right? When you just move it over like that. Something you definitely have to do is squish the eye. And all I did was just drag over and squish the eye. And I'm looking at the preview and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna try squishing it even more. And now it starts getting really messed up. However, this one looks pretty decent. I'm gonna stick with this one. She's like, we gotta go find mom. Why are you making a YouTube video? We gotta go find her for that outer eye to look better is um, <laughs> get rid of the uh, the bend in that eyebrow and then another thing is get I would, I would get rid of this pixel right there and then maybe maybe even make it look like the eye bends more by getting rid of that pixel right there and just those few pixels kind of create help create that um, uh, whatever that crease near the nose it makes me want to move the nose a little bit closer to that side too right now the nose is in the middle let's just let's just see let's just see what it looks like if we move that nose a little closer to that eye Ooh. i think that looks fine right because the nose you don't want to put it in the middle if the person's looking straight ahead it would be in the middle but if they're looking to the side always put it closer to the outer eye so i think that that I think that looks pretty good guys. So something we can do to add a little bit more form to the face is we can add a little glare on the cheek. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I think the best place to put actually that glare is right there at the very top of the cheeks. I think that is where it looks the cutest and it kind of gives it, gives it the most form. However, I probably am going to fade the edges of it a little bit. I'm going to take the lip color and I'm going to merge it down. And the reason why I'm merging the lip color down. Ribby, look, you're famous. I'm going to keep her in my lap so she doesn't bark so much. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so now that the eyes look like, you know, that they're bigger and the face is bigger, I think that we can also make the, the lips bigger. And I think we can just add pink at the top here too. Something, something like that. And you can even add shading around the lips to make them even bigger. <laughs> I'm giving this girl some huge lips. That there, that there. Maybe just transition that a little bit. 
<clears throat> when you have opacity, you can click on the same spot multiple times. So the cool thing about that is if you don't pick the right color, when you're working with um, when you're working with opacity, if you, even if you didn't get the right color, you can just keep adding more and more and more until it's saturated enough, until it's the color that you um, that you want it to be. Oh my gosh, ribbon jumped on my keyboard. Ribbon, get out of here. Now that we're adding all these gradients, I kind of feel like we need to make the nose a little bit brighter. Because <clears throat> that one little dot on it, that one little pixel on it, kind of just made it look like a highlight. But the whole thing would be a little bit uh, a little bit brighter. Even You could even like make this whole section of the nose brighter. It depends on how much you want the person's nose to look like it's um, protruding. Okay, so we made, the, <laughs> we made the lips bigger to fit the giant eyes. Um, and <laughs> look at that cone head. Dang, that's a serious cone head. To make the <clears throat> to make the pupils look rounder, grab some grab the white, get a really low um, opacity there, and click in the corner. And what this will do is it'll make the pupils look like they're a little bit rounder, even though we used squares for them. And another thing you could do is also even um, on the very edge here you could add pixels as well and that'll s s subtly um, make it look like the the pupils are rounder I think I'm gonna remove those last two that I added I think just this one is enough to make that look round so I think these parts of the eye are still kind of jagged and we want to blend this a little bit more so what we're gonna do is we're going to grab the white here and just go a little bit um, get a gray color something that is noticeable remember not to pick your colors when uh, in the zoomed version look into the preview and see if you can notice it in the preview because you can notice color changes <clears throat> when you're zoomed in but if you look at the preview you won't right so whenever you're trying to look at colors and decide colors make sure that you're looking at the preview to see if it's even visible when zoomed out so I think this might actually be a little too dark but the point is that we can add a little bit of shading here around the et around the corners and what it'll do is it'll make that part of the eye look a little bit rounder I'm also gonna put that right there and maybe right there if it's if it, it may be a little too subtle uh, maybe I should have tried something a little bit darker but that's for you to mess around with and and to find the perfect the perfect amount that you think makes that look like it's blending you, you, we can blend so much stuff so for example this eyebrow right here um, you know to get rid of this jagged corner you can also you can do the same thing where you pick an in-between color to sort of try to smooth that out and I could add it here and here and I'm thinking even here and now that made that look a lot smoother the, the one part I think that is kind of too harsh is this part right here I think that maybe it's just too dark so I'm gonna try to lighten it up because I think if I lighten it up it'll look like it's a little bit more um, uh, see-through or you know what I mean like the eyelashes aren't so thick so to make it look like it's a little more see-through I think I just need to make it lighter so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that color and just move um, move up a little bit to create to get a lighter version of it I'm gonna put that lighter version right there maybe even a little bit lighter and yeah if you if you look at that preview it is starting to change the shape of those eyelashes I think something like this oh for this eye I kind of want the eyelash to stick out and the reason why I want the eyelash to stick out is because since that eye is a little bit more from the side, you would actually see the eyelashes sticking um, sticking out more. It looks like there's a little bit of ma a little bit of um, mascara um, on there, and that's fine. <laughs> Ribby, are you trying to tell me something? I'm excited for the next episode where we finally get to do the hair. I'll see you next week. Well, Ribby and I will see you next week. <gasps> a devlock.